To achieve a realistic rendering effect with the help of HDRI, we need a HDRI. So for that, I use HDRI Heaven, where you can find a huge collection of HDRI. From there, I used a HDRI map. And now, to add that environment, first of all, I need a 3D object. So let's import the 3D object. After that, what you have to do is you have to add the HDRI map to your environment. So for that, what you have to do is you have to open the environment and effect setting. So for that, hit A from your keyboard and M for the material slot. Before adding the map, first of all, you have to change the setting to V-Ray. Let's change the V-Ray set, setting to V-Ray and then you have to find V-Ray HDRI. After adding V-Ray HDRI to your environment map, simply drag it to the material slot, any material slot and keep the method to instance. After that, we are done with the environment and effects and now you have to add the image to the slot. Let's find the HDRI which we had downloaded and add it. After adding the HDRI, what you have to do is you have to change the mapping type to spherical. Now it's fine. To see this map in our viewport, we have to do a bit small setting. So for that, you have to go that go in the view. Just hit viewport background and environment background. After that, you will able to see the HDRI map in your viewport. Now, what you have to do is you have to align the grid with the base or the ground in the HDRI. So I used a camera to match it and also I added a plane as our ground for the 3D model. This plane will also act as a matte object which receives the shadow of the object. After that, what we have to do is we have to do a bit light setup. So for that, I'm using a V-Ray light. And change its type to dome. And now, let's... In the texture area, what we have to do, we have to add the environment map and keep the multiplier to 1. So we just simply drag the environment map to the texture area and keep the method to instance. And after that, let's hit a small render for that. And it's working fine. But for the ground to make it matte, what we have to do is we have to add a material wrapper in that. So for that, go in the material slot, click on standard, in the V-Ray you will find material wrap. And just keep it discard to old material. And now in the base material add a V-Ray material. And in the material section just simply check the matte surface, the matte surface for reflection and shadow. That's it and just simply assign it to the ground and now let's have a render so here we have the realistic effect which we achieved after doing a bit tweaks in the materials and changing the object material to V-Ray we had achieved a different form of render effect so let's have a look <laughs> 